Hello, Soldier Boy here. Today, this week's Daily Race A, I thought I'd try something a little bit different. So, I decided to do no practice, never driven the track before. It's actually one of the few tracks I've not done at all. And we're in the hot hatches, we're in the Renault Clio's. Um, see, as you see, no time since starting 11th. Very we're different for me, I normally do minimum 5 laps to get a decent time and go from there. So this is completely different for me. So here we go, off to start. I, I I knew it was a start, so I put trash control on. I bumped into the car that didn't put traction control on, and I'm now dead last. Um, yeah, standing starts, generally, you want traction control on one. I know this, and as soon as I saw it, it was a standing start straight away. But yeah, car, I think it was in 10th. Just didn't move. I got into the back of him. Didn't even notice he wasn't moving. Um, so dead last. So not a good start to someone who doesn't normally do no practice. So I'm just going to try and make up time on a track that I don't know, which is very very odd. Saying out loud, I must admit. Um, the track itself isn't too bad. It's some of the corners, I feel if with a bit of practice, I could be fairly quick. The car itself, the Renault Clio, it's a little bit understeery, but generally it's a nice, solid car. Not massively fast, not massively slow. Yeah, it's a good hot hatch, as they're called. Um, for anyone that likes Top Gear, will probably get that reference. Uh, someone gone off. I think he must have been hit by the car just ahead of us. So we've managed to get one place up at least, so we're now into 11th. Still on the first lap, they're fairly long laps, about two minute laps. Um, number 10 has got a penalty, and he's about to serve it. So we're going to gain another position at least, so we're going to gain two. So that's something. There we go, he's taking his penalty, we're going to go past. Happy days to us. And the yellow flag ahead, so people have gone off ahead of us. I'm glad I've got the cones on for breaking points because that's what I'm trying to hit but it's not knowing the corner and speed it's I see a lot of other youtubers do this um, I'm not calling myself a youtuber for a start but I did I see a lot of other people that post to YouTube um, they do videos like this where they don't do any practice they go in dead last it's the last first challenge and all that. not me that's not what I'm trying to do um, I just fancied, I've not had much time to play. Um, I've not done the Nations Cups, I've not done the Manufacturers Cups for probably nearly two weeks now. I've not managed to do daily races and I start nights um, after today. So this was my only opportunity to get some racing in. Um, things have been a bit hectic. So because of the short time frame, I just thought, no, let's just get in, let's do it. No practice. I kind of logged onto the game. The race was about a minute to two minutes away, and I thought, yeah, let's get in. And then for the consequences afterwards. Um, but we're not doing too badly. We're up to ninth. We started in 11th with no time, so yeah, we're okay. Penalties for the cars ahead as well, so that's, we'll take that. That's gained positions, hopefully. Um, but yeah, do not think this is a normal YouTuber last the first challenge. No, this is me not having very much time thinking... Let's just give it a go and see what happens. So we've got a car on a tail. It's only a three lap race, so it's a very short race, two minute-ish laps. Um, still trying to find really where the breaking points are. I've gone a bit wide on that one. I'm going to lose the position. Um, yeah, not really worrying about driver rating or safety rating as such, really. I'm just giving it a go. So we're bad down for still one place up. Knight's got very, very wide on the exit. He's gone off onto the gravel. He's going to be a slow out. So we're going to take the position back from him. We messed it up with our mistake and lost the position to him. We've taken it back when he messed up and made a mistake. So all's fair. And this is near the end of the second lap. So only one more after this. Um, this corner, if you break right, you can take this quite well. It's such a tight turning in. You've got to hit the apex like that. That was a very good corner, I thought. Eighth place, bit of wayward. He didn't take the corner brilliantly by the looks of things. So we are gaining on him now. This corner, the car understeers so badly. 
it's all about throttle control it seems but we're still doing okay heavy braking for the tight left hander and right hander that's fine we can do that and then we're through and then we should have slipstream on 8 I'm hoping one lap to go we've gained two positions from start we started 11th we're now in 9th not too bad um, I don't know what I was expecting to be honest so yeah I'll take it I don't know what numbers on the car so I don't know where it the game thinks we're going to finish so I don't know how that's going to work at this point um, break very late and messed it up completely trying to cut across level but instead it's going to reset me back to where we started in 11th we now drop down to last on the last lap <sighs> yeah I, I missed the breaking point completely I had slipstream as well it's complete mistakes on my part that really didn't go to plan um, not that I had a plan it just didn't work in the slightest so last lap we're last um, we're one place down on where we started we are catching on 11th we can actually finish where we started if we play our cards right if we can keep up with 11th keep his slipstream hope he makes a few mistakes and we get a bit more speed in some of the corners we could take him taking that corner a bit too tight I could have gone a little bit wider I think that's the faster line going wider there and then around the next bend trying to just keep it tidy trying to catch 11th yeah uh, at this point he's gone wide so at this point I was about to say I didn't think I had a chance but then he went wide back where we started for 11th place there is penalties ahead but then we have to be a lot closer for them to really help us I think took that corner fairly well not as well as it did the last lap but took it fairly well and going round the bend yeah we kept the speed up probably could have gone faster decent corner there coming into the last two now just got to get these right we'll probably keep our position we started in which is 11th place around the final so that's an 11th place finish which isn't too bad it could have been a lot better um, if we if we hadn't missed their breaking point but looking at all the penalties ahead of us there was quite a few of them by the looks of it it's quite a penalty filled race and it thought we'd finish 7th um, yeah not brilliant but like I say I went in blind so I thought okay I've got in blind once we didn't set a time again on purpose we just left it and I thought um, my start was rubbish because I went into the back of car 10 so it wasn't the best oh I've had practice I've had three laps but I thought let's go one more time hot hatches one more time so again traction controls on one for a decent start we're not into the back of anyone this time so we'll take that straight back down to zero and off we go we're starting in ninth with no time this time so we start better and like I say we didn't go in the back of someone always a bonus first corner I've hit the car ahead of me I didn't mean to um, I braked he braked more than I did um, so not brilliant it's very touchy on the first little bit of the corner there we're getting squeezed between different cars here but we're keeping her keeping it tight and holding our own here still maintaining night from where we started breaking for the corner I'm just trying to stay up people's way at this point trying to keep it clean which generally does seem really clean and then we're going to get squeezed between two cars and we're going to get a penalty you can obviously see we followed a line we stayed straight two other cars turned into us like they did the same two to just then and we got the penalty for it I do not understand that how can you get a penalty for being squeezed between two cars when we did nothing wrong but it is what it is what can you do 
so we've dropped down one of the wind temp. We've got a one second penalty, which is going to destroy the fact we're keeping up with the other cars at this point. But it's frustrating. Very frustrating. I thought we were still competitive until that. But we haven't dropped too far behind. We need a good corner now. We've hit the apex, keeping it tight. We're actually still on the back of the car as we were. So imagine if we hadn't had the second behind them, where we'd be right now. So, trying to keep it tight. We're still in 10th. We've still got a decent finisher coming up if we can keep this, I think. There's a big group of cars here, so we should be alright. And there's some Archie Barge going 8th, it's 9th, there's a penalty for 7th. Um, one car's gone off track to try and cut the corner. That's got to be a penalty, surely. We've hit him as he was very slow on exit after cutting across. My fault. I should have tried to avoid him, but I kind of had no choice. Um, we got a slipstream though. We're still in. Uh, we're still in tenth. And ninth didn't get a penalty. He cut that corner massively and didn't get a penalty. That makes no sense. But there we go. It's not always fair. So we go go for the inside. We're going to beat ninth under braking to move up and take his position got to be very heavy on the brakes there I've gone very tight to the inside and then I've got a penalty for corner cutting or track limits I was uh, both wheels were off off the track I was on the green yeah okay I, I kind of accept that that was my fault for trying out break the guy <sighs> yeah there's no real excuse I didn't think I'd get it considering the guy we overtook cut the last corner quite badly and got nothing I tried to beat him on the brakes and just didn't break enough and I get penalised but it is what it is what can you do you have to carry on so currently in ninth the guy ahead of us in eighth has got a penalty so in theory won't lose any time to him the car behind us on the other hand though will have a chance now of taking his position back um, we started in ninth we're still in ninth so it is what it is one car has gone very wide there and eighth who's got the other penalty has gone very wide so we're going to take a position there we're up to eighth we took our penalty have we got the legs to beat seventh we have we're past seventh we're now we're going to break before him though um he's going to hold it up we've avoided contact with eighth there i had to compromise my lion's corner i saw him dive bombing in moved out of his way um I do, we've hit him from behind though as it's going very slowly on the corner. But yeah, I I saw the dive bomb, I relented. That's kind of my kind of driving style. If I, can, if I see it happening, I will always try and be as clean as possible. I'll give up the position if need be. If it avoids us both, you know, losing out, then brilliant. If you're the kind of driver that does the dive bombs, because people like me will try and move out of the way, well, fair play to you, you know. Maybe I'm the silly one for doing that, but I just don't want to be taken out of the race because someone's being a bit foolhardy. But anyway, we're all alongside him. Kind of got off on a little rant. Kind of alongside him, we got past him. So that's the guy that we avoided collision with. We've got past him. We're on the brakes hard. Are oh, we going to take this corner bed? I'm trying to avoid another track cutting penalty. Someone's gone off as well, so we move up to seventh now. And we've got the legs on sixth, I believe, as we come around here. If we can hold it, it's all about throttle control now. Not letting the car understeer too much. We are keeping it tight. Sixth is there though. He's squeezing us off the track a bit, but we're staying on. Trying to beat him under brakes. It didn't really work. And the other car is just on the right hand side as well now. This is turning into a really good race. We're getting hit from the eighth though. We're going to take the uh, safety rating down for that. He's taking the penalty though, which is a bit weird. Why do I get a safety rating down if he's going to get a penalty for that? Surely we should have nothing and he should have it all. You know, he was the one behind it. It was his fault, clear as day. Just seemed a bit weird for me to lose safety rating over it, but there we go. Um, he's very wayward on exit, which I, again, know where to go. I've hit the back of him, that slowed me down. Another safety rating down. Didn't really have a choice. We're going to hit from behind from the guy with a penalty behind us. Another car's coming on. We managed to avoid him. 
try and have the speed on six now we're up to seven but doing okay got to beat six under braking we've got the inside line which i didn't really want his helped us around the corner to a degree as he turned into us luckily we was already past him and just the back end tap it did kind of help us take the corner a little bit better i think we're up to six so I believe that's 9th to 6th currently. If we can hold this off this final lap, last few corners, can we hold this together now? Breaking for the corner. Going nicely. Got to take this one tight. Should have been a little bit wider on entrance. Didn't hit the apex. Missed the apex completely. This is still behind us. He's on a tail. There's a dive bomb. If you look at the radar there, someone dive bombed. And I've got a feeling it's the guy. They've got the penalty. Dive bomb behind us. Missed everyone. But we're going to finish the race in 6th place. Which... From 9th is only a free place gain, but to be fair, that was a very good race. A few dubious penalties, but I really enjoyed that. Um, is it something I'd do again, like, you know, the no practice? Probably. It was really good fun, especially in the cars that you don't normally drive, like the, the Renault Clio. Um, but there we go. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Look out for more for myself, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.